And welcome back to the World War II lesson. Uh, in the last video, we were talking about the Battle of Stalingrad, as well as Pearl Harbor, and some of the other events going on in 1942. And what we're going to do is look at the African campaign. And what the African campaign is going to go over is, is sort of this, this first stage of World War II. And a lot of people see Africa as sort of like the, the first um, entry of the United States, as well as the first real ground battles that happened between the Axis and the Allies in the West. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start. Um, I'm going to start over here. So over here, this is, uh, this is Africa in 1942. Or, yes, in 1942. And uh, what's been going on is in the east, we can kind of go around here, we have a lot of territory that's being uh, in control. Of course, Algeria was French, and Egypt and, and places in the, in the Middle East are really heavily influenced by Britain. And, and Germany knows, Germany knows that Africa specifically, as well as the Middle East, contain uh, a fair amount of oil reserves that the British are going to essentially run their military on. So their goal is to take a lot of these, this area in, in, northern, in northern Africa in the Middle East. And the best way to do that is through Italy. So, so Germany is going to use Italy and Sicily as a jumping off point to, uh, you see kind of here, they invaded Tunisia. Tunisia, and, and you know, right now they're going through a, a revolution of some sort, or, or if you're watching this far in the future, they did go through a recent revolution. Um, but then what happens is Germany invades Tunisia and then basically spreads west through Algeria to Morocco. If you know the movie uh, Casablanca, that actually takes place in 1942, Morocco. Very wonderful movie. And uh, they spread east. And, and the Germans were... Were, um, were led by a man, uh, General Ern Rommel. They call him the Desert Fox. And here's an awesome picture of the Africa Corps, which are, as you see, the German panzer tanks all lined up on a, on a deserty field somewhere, probably in Tunisia or uh, here in Algeria. So, so during the first parts of the war between 1940 and 1942, the, the German forces are going to spread west and they're going to spread east. They're going to get as far east as, as west Egypt and as far west as Morocco. But in, in 1942 and 1943, uh, the Americans will actually invade North Africa as part of this, this man, General George Patton. You see him on a tank talking to one of his soldiers. Uh, George Patton is, is a very famous general. There's also a movie after him called Patton. And, and the Patton finally unleashes these uh, U.S. Sherman tanks as well as infantry units in, in Morocco. And this is kind of the first stage of, of the instigation of these of American armor at the time. And you can definitely see the difference between the United States, uh, the Sherman tank, and, of course, between the, the German panzers. Uh, the German panzers have bigger guns. They're, they're more well-armed. Um, the United States essentially has production over, over the, the Germans. The United States would, would build... Uh, 50, around 50,000 Sherman tanks in World War II. So, so over here, this is this uh, the American invasion in the West is called Operation Torch. So this is all part of Operation Torch over here, and the Germans are invading westward. And you see here is here is some British forces as well. Uh, they're they're fighting in in the western sands of Algeria in, in 1942. But the the major battle that we're going to get to in Africa is actually going to be um it's called El Alamein. El Alamein. Uh, is going to be uh, uh, about right here. I try to do my best to make it as as um, as accurate as possible with the with the with the picture. So El Alamein was was a British front uh, right before Suez and, and Cairo and Alexandria, about right here. And and the Germans were invading eastward and eastward and eastward. And finally, um, this man right here, General Bernard Montgomery of England, he was the main general on the British side that was observing this, this force. As you see, you have the major generals in the war, actually, fighting in North Africa for the first part. And Montgomery, Montgomery is observing the battlefield, and he successfully stopped the desert fox, Erwin Rommel, here at El Alamein. And so you can see some, some British soldiers here. These are SAS troopers, or uh, I think special Africa soldiers, or 
I forgot what SAS means, so you could probably go look it up. Uh, so yeah, then you see they have machine guns and they're in they're in their their jeeps and such like that. So they really did a, an excellent job. Uh, it's a hard fought battle. It was a decisive battle, as I said, in 1942. They managed to hold the Germans away from the Suez Canal because we also have to remember that Suez here as well as as this area right here the the suez canal very very important waterway for it, especially the british i mean all the all the tankers are coming through here and of course they have to pass through places like greece and, and italy but i mean huge i mean this was a ma major battle right here this pretty much decided much of who was going to get these middle eastern oil reserves and we'll zoom in on the battle and i'll show you kind of what what took place so you have the access and the in the blue and the 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 you the united kingdom army over here and so basically what they they end up doing is sort of creating a, a feint to the south here and you can see the the panzer the 21st panzer division trying to come back around here and then they they came back and they basically just uh flanked on towards the mediterranean sea and really just drove them back to the west and this was a major battle as I as I said, also there's a there's a wonderful video right here. So when you're when you're done watching this, you can watch this video and it'll give you a really good wartime footage and idea of what was going on. So so the Africa campaign was actually, and a lot of people don't really recognize the Africa campaign for its true importance, but it, it really was the the most important campaign in the war uh, depending on who you talk to and this map is going to tell us why this map right here is basically a, a map of, of northern Africa and the Middle East as well as you can kind of see how the interwar period of the Middle East affects foreign control and so here you have uh, French influences here and here you also have uh, British influences at, at this time the Britain actually will own Syria Lebanon, uh, Palestine, uh, Jordan, and Iraq. And as we all know, these main co these countries here are very heavily into exporting oil. They will also own parts of, of Qatar, uh, Oman, Aden, um, Aden, sorry, Yemen as well, and Sudan. And at this time, Saudi Arabia, a lot of people, um, just a little reminder back to World War I, if, if anyone has ever seen the movie Lawrence of Arabia or or understands that during World War I, uh, Arabia at the time was sort of this um, completely hectic area with, that was allied with the Ottoman Empire in Turkey. And, and a man by uh, the name of uh, Lawrence came in and, and really took over essentially Arabia and gave it to the Saudis for, uh, on, to, be, to essentially be allied with Britain. So, so uh, Lawrence comes in as, as part of the uh, the Arabian front in World War One and, and basically turns this nation um, allied to the British. So the, the British own all of these all of these oil reserves are our friends with with the with the nations that are giving them this oil reserves. And as we know of of what the the war effort was needed, oil was a main fuel. I mean, they ran the tanks. They they, they helped keep supply lines going, and, and the British were able to keep control of all of this area right here, which was essential for the defeat of the Nazis in the next couple years. So that's just a basic overview of Africa. So I, I hope that gives you a good understanding of, of why Africa was so important, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.